ladies and gentlemen, we back once again. I don't even know what episode it is, but we here. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. Everybody got their little niche. How they get set up to start? Yo, check it out, check it out, check it out. Yo, we got a lot to say, a lot of things. We want to express it on the chest. But let's get into it. Look, who we got to do? Yo. Wait. Do I got lipstick on my teeth? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I ain't never did this before. This is a first. Y'all ready? Take four. We got a crazy. <laughs> we got a crazy podcast. I'm your big brother, Lo. That's Uncle Vic. Yes, sir. Yeah, and go. today, that's your yo and Tommy. Where the fuck are you at? Yo, Tommy, man, I'm saying. All right. All right. So today, I'm here with two really, really good friends. All right. So one, my name is Jenny. I call it J at. All right. And this is Don. Uh, yeah. Hello, ladies. Hi. Now, one hello. of the things that you guys know that we always do is almost everybody we deal with, these people got businesses and we plug in with their businesses. Right. So, before we do anything, Don, can you tell us about your business? Um, since I just moved to um, uh-huh. so I see a lot of elderly like struggling, especially in your Walmart. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, mm-mm. I have to make a difference in those elderly life. I say, oh, let me start doing my own private home care agency. And I say, oh, let me just do it. Let's see what's up with, yeah. And what's the so, name of your company? Alta Grace Home Care Services. Okay. Beautiful. And say cool. uh, contact information, can we reach you online? Do you have a number? Hey, if somebody wanted to reach you right now, how could they reach you? They can reach me at the website, okay. Alta Grace LLC dot com. Right, right. Okay. It's go by the home services. And you got all those information. You can contact me, everything. Yeah, that's beautiful. Big yeah. up to you. God thank you, thank so you. Happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank Woo-hoo. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So y'all can have the contact so, information to get more, you know. So if anybody got there. any elderly people, if anybody got any, um, let me talk right. If anybody has any elderly people, or if anybody has any um people that's recovering from surgery and they need, after, um, they call it post care, right? But it, yeah, I, the post care is lymphatic massage. Care. Yeah. So people that need after you now need they care. change it. This post care. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that it's lymphatic you massage. Her that she would come in, she would take care of the person and then tell their yes. care Like a All recovery right. house. They, so here you go. So they give her like um service at home. Uh-huh. Doing snack, like housekeeping, mm-hmm. going, bathing, diapers, homo. Also, samples need activities needs like. You know what? You know what's, yeah. It's amazing <clears throat> to me. It's how bright women are. Women are very out in the women are like genius. They're genius, not like right? right. So it always, it always in my mind when I be hearing a woman in her brilliance, I always say to myself, Why the fuck did I bite that apple? Or like, why did y'all eat up the tree? Can y'all relate to what the fuck Eve was thinking? Because we would be way better. If you guys wouldn't have followed your feelings and said you let this, this basically the certain food got into your feelings and you was like, fuck it, I'll eat it. Why? See? No one knows. <laughs> no one knows. No one knows. Yeah, no one knows. Fuck no it. one knows. So and I don't wanna go that far either. No, I no, I I'll take everything. I'll take everything. <laughs> Everything, uh, uh, I take everything left field all the time. I always want to get a reaction. So I'm looking for like your natural reaction to that question, right? So here's another one I want a natural reaction. Yo, V.I., have you heard about the whole um, Papoose, Remy Martin thing? Ooh, have I? I can't stop. It's all that's everywhere. That's... Papoose? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know anything and until now. That's... Well, let me ask you guys this. Well, let me ask you this. Do you know of, do you know, have you heard anything that would be like, yeah, she fucked that dude? Because I'm not sure if this is just the nigga jealous. Of his height? 
Sometimes you see shit. Sometimes as a man, you look at your woman and you see her around the different men, and you can see it. You can see it. Like, if it wasn't for me, she probably would be fucking him. Know what I'm saying? Do y'all know men know that shit? Who was she fucking? Some nigga that she was managing. Well, stop. I don't know if she was fucking this nigga. This is what they say that. That's a woman. It's a dude that she's managing that's a battle rapper named. Whatever his name was, better. Yeah, well, his name was easy. Not, easy, captain. easy, yeah. It, block the block captain, yeah, yeah right. Mm-hmm. Yo, did you see that fucking um that battle when the nigga threw the third, the whole third verse that Remy talking about how fucked up she was? Yo, so all right, so she was managing this nigga, and he was they was throwing these events where they were having these battles, and I guess this little nigga was, was winning a lot of them, but something happened where Pat Fools must have saw some shit in the phone. Went to one of the battles, punched the nigga in the face in the back room. Wow. And allegedly. And it's it's the word is because Remy's fucking him. Yeah, I heard that. But I don't know. I don't know if she's really fucking him. Or just having inappropriate conversation. You know, it doesn't Oh, thank you. <laughs> and my thing is, there's a lot of people. <laughs> the words come out. As a husband, you got kids. I mean, I know publicity, good publicity, bad for publicity. You're not gonna let that slide with so much. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So whether or not there's any truth to it or not, they need to like, you know, figure that out and get and get to that because the internet is going crazy. Yeah. Well, let's know. And, and and just on another note, I think what's real personal about that is, you know, Pat went to go see his significant other 365 days, sometimes for a 15 minute visit. Anybody that's been incarcerated you know a 15 minute visit to turn to like five hours of wait time the whole day, traveling to and from that place. He did it every day for 365. Yeah. So that's why there's a whole team pap who's like, wow, why you doing like well, that? Well, first yes. of all, that's yeah. You have to do it like that. You made, you made like Lala that. sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm gonna listen. First of all, I'm, I'm team pap all the way. I don't give a fuck if he was dead wrong. I'm with the guy, all right? There's something about me, if y'all didn't know, y'all need to know. I rock with the dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, on not on no faggot shit, but like if, if I see a guy and a girl in a relationship, I assume she's wrong. Why? I don't know. I just <laughs> I really don't. No, it's you no know, because I, I always associate shit to my personal life. You know what I'm saying? And in my personal life, the well, girl was wrong a lot more times than the dude to me. Right? So oh. so I don't know. This is what I, from what I have been confirmed, this is what I will say. He said that he walked into a room. It was said that he walked into a room and bring me, something was happening with somebody, but um, um, that nigga was standing up behind her like on some old body to body shit. Oh, okay. dang. And when Papoose walked in. So something happened. I don't remember exactly what it was. So Remy's standing there looking and this nigga's up on her like, you Too know, close. and Pat walked in and was like, nigga, I saw those messages and knocked them out. And then alleged. from alleged, no, this no, this happened. And he knocked the nigga, he beat the nigga up, right? So Remy called security on Pat. Whoa. Had a big dug out. I mean, you want your, you got a venue going <laughs> on, that's your business. You want to make sure the father your Now, I good. don't know if any of this shit is true. Remember what I told y'all before? I am not a professor. Oh. Remember what he told you before. I'm not a professor. I'm not a. Pro- I'm, I don't. I don't sit up and, and really take a long time, like with this shit. This shit is something that I caught onto. I'm like, I like that story. Let's talk about it, right? That's right? But I don't know what really happened. All I'm saying is allegedly, from what I'm getting from the different bits and pieces of media, is the nigga punched the dude because he saw how he was standing. He punched the dude, knocked him, dropped him down, hit him a couple times. Then security came, she called security, they dragged him off, and then she left with him, with the other dude. Oh my. That's what the story was. That's, I heard that. You heard that too? I heard that. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I've been going. I hear that, but. Now this is the fucked up thing about that, right? Back in the day, when Remy was running with Terror Squad, I was never, she was never looked at, like from my perspective, like, the little Kim's Foxy Browns and um, who was that little chick from um? Scarlett Bennett. No, nigga, I'm stuck. 
What's that chick that took my people from the era? Um, the bitch with the short hair, E, right? So mm -hmm. I didn't look at um, Remy like I looked at those other women. Those other women to me were sex symbols. Remy was never back then to me a sex symbol. Mm -hmm. She was like a gangster chick. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once she went to prison and then she kissed even when she first came home, she still had that old Remy look. It was after like, it, it was after time that when Remy became what we see now, and she looks fucking fantastic, right? She does. But Amazing. This is, you know, the, yeah, I'm, saying all this is. Shit, I'm saying all of this shit to say this, right? I've never seen a man display, show, I mean, honestly, like, from him, a nigga love a person, a woman that much. I've never seen that. This nigga, in every no. outlet that they've ever been on, the biggest thing that he always displays is how much he loves his woman. Yes. That's the me sure now. I'm I'm a funny. Uh, I'm not a funny guy, but I'm a, I can yeah, get on some other shit, right? They he the type of nigga that if I would have met her then, let's say I met them too, right? And I would have looked at her and I would have been like, "Fuck that nigga," and I would have because he looked like one of them little niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I would have been like, "Fuck!" Like, like but if I would have saw this little nigga love his girl that much, I could never try to interfere with that. You get, you see what I'm getting at? Right. Pat showed that kind of love that I would never try to interfere with. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So to see, I'm not saying. Oh, that shame to, on that dude for even stepping, you know, yeah, interfering. No, that nigga did what a man would do. Look how pretty she is. Look how mm. good she. She looked like she smelled good all the time. So <laughs> there is no fucking way <laughs> a red motherfucker is gonna just not like her. Any man would like her. She got to that level. Remy wasn't there before. Remy used to kind of look like she might be at a wrestler some shit. Like, <laughs> she looks like she even lost even weight. Yes. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. I look, yo, what Remy has morphed into was like, wow. Like if the Illuminati do that to you, shit. I, I'm not gonna go, but I can see why people go that route. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I can see why you know. It changed you from that to almost Beyonce mode. Come on, Remy's gorgeous. So yeah, I, I would hate to hear that that really would happen to a dude that loved his woman that, that bad because it'll make a nigga like me be like, see, ain't, don't ever love nobody like that with your children because they're the only ones that whose disappointment you're going to be able to take. Only people whose disappointment you're going to be able to always handle is your mother and your kids, you know, your parents and your kids. You're never going to be able to handle that disappointment when it's real from your man. It's a different kind of love. When bitches be like, I love you with all my heart, I be wanting to be like, see, now I don't like you because you're lying. You understand what I'm saying? You can't. Because I can do one thing right now and you will hate me. So you don't love me like that. That's just, you're emotional. How often do men, let me ask you this, right? Do men say that to women? Like, I love you with all my heart. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do they? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do they? Yeah, they do. Ah, uh, but listen right now. Uh, on the main, say something like that to me. <laughs> right now, 2023, I'm gonna look at you like, hmm. Are you sure what you just say? I'm right gonna be looking like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ow. Who talks like that? Like, I think y'all both saying two different things though. Because you saying, yo, who does that? Who lives like that? Like that stuff doesn't exist. She's saying, are you sure what you saying you mean? Like, 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 where does this come from? Like, are you sure you feel the way you're expressing it? So last time he said, yeah, I feel that way. <laughs> yeah, it's not about for me. Right. It's not about why he said. It's about why he did. Right. Why he doing the action. Action speaks mm -hmm. louder than words. Thank you. Right, okay. Okay. Yep. How about you? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. And he don't need to say it. Right, right. Yeah, it would have. To you be. don't need to say it. Yeah. So I as a woman, we know it. Right. Woman know when a man love mm -hmm. you. I know when somebody love me. When a man love me, I know you don't need to explain yourself. Sometimes, yep. But yep. sometimes men, I know to that too, just to let a female know. Uh, tell her, tell a female that he's in love, that he loves her. Yep. 
you know, all the time. Well, I understand you know, that. we want to hear that. Oh, like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm talking more of the whole phrase of, I love you with all my heart. Yo, remember what was that shit? I'm in love, I'm in love. I don't <laughs> care what's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's still out there. You understand? I'm saying, like, does that exist for men? Yes, it does. I think it does. Definitely. Mm hmm. Childhood. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, do that exist for men? Yes. Love yeah, especially love. now with the world that we live in, it's really hard to find love. Especially now in the world that we live in, it's hard to find love. So, uh -huh. so if a man finds a good woman, yes, he would say that. Mm -hmm. I have a no, I have a problem with um, I don't trust the woman's emotions, man. Right, I don't trust how she feels. You know what I'm saying? Like I trust it, I trust her enough. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I trust her enough to. Ooh, I trust her enough to make sure she's good. But I don't trust her enough for her to make sure she makes sure I'm good. Mm. You understand what I mean? Elaborate. What you mean? Mm. Some women might get offended by that. Some women might take that as they not. That's back into your feelings. Now you're going into your feelings. Hold on, I'm hold telling on. you how I feel. I'm telling you what's a fact about me. I'm. I'm the type of nigga, I'm the type of man that if I meet a woman and I like her and I'm like, I'm into her, right. right? I will, I can take care of her. I can make her comfortable, but I'll never put her, I'll never allow her to be in that position over me because I don't trust how she feels. This bitch will, my fault. This motherfucking bitch, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker will get mad and go straight to the extreme. Women, women, they <sighs> zero to hundred real quick, real quick, <clears throat> and 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 then think a sorry is good enough. No, the fuck, that's not. Some of that shit is irreversible. Like I, I, I've seen it and I've witnessed it, but I've seen it. He said, I've seen "Let me I've tell you, women, I've seen women do shit and say shit." That I was almost instigating, like nigga, you need to fuck this, and I ain't never beat on no. I've never hit a woman, ever, right? But I was actually telling the nigga like, that bitch fuck up, for real. Damn. Yo, I'm, <laughs> let me you tell know, you, you did not. Say that. Bro. Yo, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into no names, but when I go through the screen, bro, I'm not gonna go through no names. Bro. But when I say the story, bro, you're gonna bro, remember. Bro, I don't want to know. I, I, I believe it alone, dude. Hey, but if I tell you that, I'm telling you. Listen, no, 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 no. I'm telling the story, right? But I'm not going to say no names. I saw a woman tell her man, how could this baby be yours and we ain't fucked in like five months? Damn, that's harsh. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm three months pregnant. How or five months, whatever. Like, how could this baby possibly be yours? In front of his whole... Every they invited us over for a dinner and she did this shit. Oh, that's insane. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I literally was like, nigga, fuck her up. No bullshit, no bullshit. I'm dead ass, yo. <laughs> beat her fucking ass. Still, fuck that shit. It ain't that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. One thing about me, I'll get even. Mm, 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 mm. I'll get even. I'm going to get even. Look. But get even, leave but, me but, home. But, make a mission. But, that's my thing. I, if I like you, I'll take you. If I'm into you, I'll take care of you. But I'll never have you taking care of me. I won't even. I won't even trust you to do it. So if I'm sick, I'll get up and still make my own food. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you like want me to make you something, no. Because in my mind, I'm thinking I shouldn't. You should know I'm sick. Do you really think I need you? Yeah. So why are you asking me? Because I'm not gonna ask you. Shit like that is how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm different. I'll sit back and be like, what has this bitch ever did for me? That'll yeah. just make me be like, huh. Hey. Well, that means you were with the wrong one. I was doing shit. Everybody's like, I'm a, everybody's nope. not like nope. no. Not no, 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 no. Wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying every woman is like that. I'm saying I'm like that with everybody, not just women. I'm like that with men, like friends. If, if, I don't I just feel you with like anybody. you never lay back, you like, just a hundred percent. That's how you feel. Say it again. That's when you never like. I feel you. That's you don't wanna you, yourself to like lay back, uh, waiting on someone. 
That's how you feel, because you do it with your friend also. Well, I feel like this. People have shown me, even when they did show up, they they, they, they kept score. They, they, it's not genuine. It's not how I did it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. You don't think that's you trust yourself and I said that's not level. how I did it. Right. You understand what I'm saying to you? I got you. I got you. I got you. That's nigga self you know I mean? If you call me up, you got yourself. Let's say, uh, let's say you, let's say you <laughs> yeah. call me up and you say, let's say you call me up and you say, yo, I got a flat tire, and I say, all right, fuck it, I come help you, right? And I come help you, and then let's say I call you up and I say, I need a ride, and you're like. Well, I need gas. Mm. All right, I'll give you the gas, right? Yes, I'm gonna give you the gas, but I'm and, and in my mind, I'm thinking, no bullshit, no bullshit. I would have never told you that. If it was you calling me saying I needed a ride, I would have never said I need to give you some gas, mm-hmm. unless it was outrageous. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let's say you was like, "Yo, take me to Virginia." Like, yeah, that's a big. Thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but that tells a lot about a person. Yeah, I've been through that before. I give you an example. A friend of mine tells me, "Yo," a friend of mine tells me, he says, "Give me a ride, and I'll give you gas money." Like you ain't got to give me no gas money. He says, "I'm gonna give you some gas money." Fuck it. I give him a ride. We go to the store. Go to like two, three, two or three different stores, and then we get to. Um, go. I, I was about to buy these ribs. They were beef ribs, right? They were like six six thousand change, right? Mm-hmm. So the dude goes, "Yo, man, you, you gonna buy those?" I say, "Yeah." He said, right. "So he buys the ribs for me." And then we leave. Before we get to the gas station, I'm like, "Yo, you um, I'm gonna pull up over here at this gas station." I said, "All right, get there, go go inside." No point. Does he come out and say, "Yo, he got something for gas?" So I end up paying for the gas, mm-hmm. right? Now, a lot of people will be like, but that's petty, that's small. No, that's very intentional. You bought those ribs, and then in your mind you're saying, nah, I gave you something for the, for the ride. Mm-hmm. But you just told me you was gonna give, give me gas. Yeah. There was a particular, there was mm-hmm. there's an intent. As petty as that oh, is, nah. there's an intent. Now this is the ill thing about that kind of person. When a person do those kind of petty things, that means that that is a very petty person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Petty people still dumb. Petty people do real petty shit. They ain't mm-hmm. got the heart to go big. They gonna only bitch went out barber on me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So keep them people away from you, right? Yep. Okay, point made. Point made. I guess that was right. That was right. Yeah. Okay, we gonna need a break. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna research. We gonna research the day. Right back after the next. Bye 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 bye. Yeah, right back here. Yeah. We took that break, and everybody can go. Yeah, we rich over here. This is how we giving it up. We got it crazy. Uh, Lou, what's the topic? How you gonna handle it? Ah, right, check this out. Check right. it out. So you guys are um, you're not young little girls. You guys are women. You guys are women. women you know what I'm saying? So <sighs> is my mic on? Here we go. All right, so. How important is it? How important is the kiss? The kiss? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> it's it's very important because um, the kiss could be sloppy and gross. Like some people have like different lips, different ways they they kiss. You know. Uh-huh. So it's very important. Okay, what, what about you? How important is this? Uh, kiss. This depends, first of all. Yeah, it depends. I, the I, smell, I, the huge. Yeah, you have to have good breath and the teeth, good lips, like the good breath, teeth, everything. Like, uh, everything has to go with the Nah, kiss. everything I, gotta be on print. You know what's crazy? You're to right. Key. Yeah, right. Uh, uh. And I, I didn't even realize as a man how much a man thinks about that shit because that's that's how a man is too. When when the presentation has to be, 
You know Everything gotta be on point. Yeah, and my kids sing it like when I'm really, really into someone. It's like in an, it's intense, you know. So physically, yeah, and feelings. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Kissing is not like, hey, not just like that. <laughs> what does that mean? Kissing is like, hey, it's not like a handshake. You know what I'm saying? No. It's not a handshake. It has to mesh together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Word. Yes, most definitely. Are you a kisser? You bite me like this. Ask them the question. Yeah, yeah, you want to fuck yourself? Yeah, you a kisser. Listen, ask them. You look like a kisser. Yo, I'm a kisser. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something though. You know me. I always think everything, right? So I'm a kisser, but I'm gonna tell you what I've learned, right? Good, a good kiss can, can lead to misunderstanding. You understand what I mean? Like, let's say you're a good kisser, or he's a good kisser, right? And um, and he kisses you, and that kiss might make you be thinking like, "There's more to this." Kiss. Bitch went out, barber yeah. on me. This nigga really likes me because he kissed me with passion, but that might just be his style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. So watch if if if, if a guy laid on a woman a certain way, that passion, that's his style. He's conveying, especially if he's a good kisser. He's conveying his emotion. Your actions be like. So if you slobber down that way, you conveying that's how you feel. So it's like, yeah. no, yes, it you is. saying you conveying that's how you feel. What if that's just how you kiss? You can't. You can't. You can't kiss everyone the same way. Like that would be like yes. Yeah. Huh? Well, there are some yuck people out there, you know, you that might do things way. like that. <laughs> no, I'm just, no. You might be right. I ain't thinking about it like that. Might be uh, I, 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 I don't know, but who knows? But no, no, uh, there's all yeah, types of people in the world. Right, right. First of all, that nigga selling nigga out in a heartbeat. That's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. What? That is, <laughs> He said, oh, no, he's like, y'all didn't catch it. There was shots fired and that's it. There was no shots. Yes, there was. <laughs> but, 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 what I'm saying is, right. that just might be that person's style. They, that person might, every time he kisses on somebody, it's, it's probably a passionate. Yo, y'all ever see, y'all ever watch Spanish niggas club? Yes. Spanish motherfuckers. Love everybody intense. You ever, y'all never see how Spanish man love his girl and then how he love his daughter and then how he love his mom. These mother, everything is over the top. Uh-huh. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing ahead of time because wow. I'm looking at the post. <laughs> I'm looking at the video screen and I'm looking at Rico Suave kiss his girl and then turn around and kiss his grandmother the same way. Oh, wow. <laughs> they damn near do. That's his style. Listen, <laughs> wow. nah. I'm not talking about that this style. This is just cultural now. Them motherfuckers go to their wife from walk to their mother, right in the mouth, go to their daughter, chop. You'd be like, wow, man, like, I don't know. I don't I, I don't kiss my mother and my daughter in the mouth. Okay. I don't ever do that. Do, do you kiss your son in the mouth? No. Do you kiss your son in the mouth? Do you? It would have to but be someone that I'm really with, into. With, with like Spanish families? I've seen it do all types of films. That's just one way. You seen it done with blacks? Absolutely. Have you? What? You seen it done with blacks? Mm-hmm. Black people kiss their kids in their mouth? Absolutely. I've no. seen it done. I, I've seen it done, but it's like rare. And it's not odd. Rare. Yeah, I think it's circles, but circle and squares. And it's not sexual. Don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm alluding to. Why would people do things like that? I, it's I mean, just that cultural. No negative intent. Yo, I'm going yeah. to tell you, yeah, some, I'm gonna some tell you something that happened in real life, for real, that happened to me before, right? So um, I got a friend who's in. Right? So oh. said it, they, they, you know, they're going to be ready. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so I used to spend night. They have these spend night in my house, right? And um, I should have said his name, right? You understand why I said, oh! Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get that out. So, so um, blank. So, um, but there was, he had this this cousin, she was like 19, 20, at the time I was like 13. And she used to come up from um, Haiti, and and one time I was in the shower, and she just got in the shower too. Uh-uh. And it wasn't nothing yes. sexual at all. For me, it was <laughs> all the way sexual. Like, to me, it was like, I was wondering, like, try that. 
because she wasn't doing anything to you would almost thought I wasn't there. Like she got in, took off her shit. Cause she wasn't she when she got in, she still had the towel, put that shit up, washed, rinsed, got her shit, got out. Like I wasn't even there. So there was a part of me was like, try. She ain't went to waste water. Mm-hmm. No, but, water. No, yeah. but my mind wasn't weird. <laughs> no, but the, the thing is, they was when I was with them, you know, of course I go to him like, yo, bro, think you think your cousin was trying to give me some pussy. I'm saying he was like, I told him what happened. He was like, that's just how they are. Right. But the thing, I, when I used to go to his house, mm-hmm. his grandmother used to walk around with her um breast out. I know women that do that used to do that a lot. Yeah. And it wasn't nothing. I sexual went through that too. Because it would be like stuff. a slit. Yeah. And don't right. nobody in the fucking world think them big ass slips were sexy. So it'd be like that she'll pull up a slip and then her titties, you know, like the, you ever see the, the old lady on SpongeBob? I had titties be like yeah. those two hoops. Okay. Mm-hmm. It'd be like <laughs> it'd be like those, you know, it was nothing sexual. It, but to them, it, to me as an American kid, that shit was weird as fuck. Why you got blame on America? Because American women didn't do that. Yes, well, you know, do. I'm from Haitian descent, right. and a long time ago when I used to live in Chicago, I uh, lived with my family member, right. and um, her and her husband used to walk around the house butterball right. naked. All the time. Titties, hairy, bushy pussy, and, you know. What are you, American? Haitian, you know, I'm Haitian. Yeah, so see, Haitians would do that. Mm-hmm. A Haitian or Jamaican, <laughs> or I don't know if Puerto Ricans didn't really do all of that, but Dominicans did. I'm saying I ain't see race. I see all race. I see all. People. I didn't see blacks doing that. That's why it was so weird to me. My aunts didn't walk around. My, well, I mean, I walk around naked. Come on I, now. I, my <laughs> mother did it. My mother did it. But in my own home, in my room. You know. Like, mm-hmm. One day I was like, you, it just makes me uncomfortable. Like I don't understand why you can't just wrap it up, wrap yourself up, and she's like, all right, I won't walk that. I won't do that no more. She never did it again. Right, so wait, 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 wait. wait. So that's good testimony. You did see blacks and you did make a statement about it because it bothered you. But it was, no, no, it wasn't like I seen black people doing it around other people's kids. Of course not. Because I, my mother did it in the house amongst us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I was like probably like eight or nine when I was like, mom. And then like, if you tell Angela to walk around me like that and I'm not to walk around her like that, why do you walk around us like that? I've heard, I've you understand heard, what I'm saying? You know, it's funny though because I've heard that. I've heard somebody try to say that to their mother. They was like, you don't like the way I walk at my house? Go mm-hmm. we'll get your own house. <laughs> like, bitch, you had me. But this is what I'm saying. So it's natural. Like, I ain't when, when parents start throwing that shit up. Like, you had me. Right? I didn't fucking be like, yo, I'm on calm. You, you forced that shit on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you mad because I got an opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, I'm you know what I'm saying? Saying? My, mother, my mother, yo, That's a good question. one thing when I was a kid, one of the things that I think pissed off a lot was I made sense. Right. The questions that I asked, like, why am I getting in trouble? And it'll be like a good reason, something that she'll be like, now you're in trouble for asking that question. Even though it was a good question, she'll be like, I'm getting in trouble because I thought of that. <laughs> know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I was tough. I you know, you had to tell me why I was in trouble. But I think that is a good question. How many people, youth, that was traumatized because they had to walk around and look at their mothers <clears throat> and everything else, but make it with no, and fathers, you know what I'm saying? With no say so. You couldn't say nothing. If you tried <laughs> to say something, you met the stars. And you know what I mean? Those kids that met the stars. That's <laughs> different. Oh, that's, that's a real that's different that's behavior for me, man. <laughs> it was something that a lot of people, I, 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 I think, more than you realize. Well, let me ask you this. Did Granny and them do it? They did. I ain't know about it. See? Because they were American. Hold on, hold on. No, but I know several people in my, I know several people that did. That's American. Several, I know. Over a handful of different family members. I mean, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not, if it's family members, that's not as bad. Okay. But then again, it's not the same. Like, for example, when I was like... So wait, wait, wait. When I'm questioning, how was you expected to see it? Like, where was you expected to see it? Like, looking through the front. Like, I don't understand. What? When you go, I didn't see it with black people doing that. How was you expecting to see it? Like, see what? People walking around in their household new. <laughs> we weren't expected to see it. Not amongst... Like you probably expected to see it at home in the house with your family, with your mom, but right, you so wasn't expected to go to your friend's house and see that shit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So what made you think they didn't do the same thing? They did it amongst themselves in the house, but I'm talking about people who did it amongst, like my friend George. He's from Louisiana, the crib. His mom, his grandmother walk around 
Hey, boy, I fucking hell, boy, let the fucking titties out. <laughs> no, she didn't. The bitch, it was hot. I'll ask you, bro. It was hot. That's how I thought about the, the, with the slip. The oh, bitch oh, used to okay, have the slip. Okay, okay, with the slip. So it was right. a hot. It was hot. And it wasn't a big deal to her. She was looking at it. I'm looking. Like, American kids is like again, asexual exactly. weirdos. Because why you go front? You keep blaming Joe, Americans. I'm going to tell you why. No. Why I say <laughs> that, right? You keep saying that. I'm going to tell you why I say that, right? <laughs> Listen, no. I'm going to tell you why I say that, right? Because it was always nothing to the other fucking... Um, like, most of my friends were Haitian and Jamaicans, right? So when we go to, like, my man Flair, when Flo, right, he go to his house, his mother and his grandmother walked around with their titties out. But why couldn't his sister? I guess you have to reach a certain stature of age. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, you got to wait until they old and long before you can fuck with them. Come on, man. Like, that shouldn't be the rule. No, they marry you on. When they like, old. Sister it's an age you don't care no, no more. sister couldn't walk around like that. Well, maybe she could, but just a different, her own environment. I'm talking about when we were over there, when the moms and the grandmoms used to do right, it, right. the sister couldn't do it. Until she got into a certain, in her own environment, her own room, her own style. She learned it. It's learned behavior. She's changing the situation. You mean she couldn't do it right there in front of you? Well, she in front of all of us. Nah, not just uh-huh. me. She couldn't do it in front of us. Uh-huh. Know what I'm saying? And then what I what I was getting at was my island friends, the, the boys that didn't seem, like when the women did that shit, it didn't seem didn't like seem nothing bothered, to them. Right? Right. Like they didn't notice it. Right. Now, I am happen to be the only kid American that it bothers. And I'm like, this ain't right. This is weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now, but let's look at that shit and, and let's flip it. What if it was a man walking around with his dick out and a little girl going to see her friend? Right. Would that be acceptable? Going to see her friend or her, somebody in her own family? Somebody in her family. Somebody in her own family? Even it could have been one of her brothers or sister. If daddy's standing there with his dick out, is that acceptable? Hell no, is it's not. Is that acceptable to you? <laughs> no, it is not acceptable. Okay, what I'm sharing, mm-hmm. what I'm uh-uh. Is it acceptable? No, oh, man, yes and no. no. Because what I'm saying is it depends where you're from, where I'm from. Now, all of a sudden, it depends on where you're from. Yeah, that's too much. Now, it depends. Because when, when it was about the women and saying that shit, I'm saying because I'm the American. Like, why you keep saying it's American? American right. Because where I'm from. What from? With, Women didn't do that. Women didn't walk around with their titties out. Oh, I'm so out. glad you said I'm glad we on this topic. Because I want to ask this question. So go ahead. Finish up. Finish up. Oh, boy. Go ahead. Finish up. So this thing is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear that. You know that, right? Nah, it's going, bro. It's like zoom right there. Now, what I was getting at, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It is foreign. That because American people know America, what Yeah, right. we, get we shelter our kids from... Se- no, it's crazy. We shelter our kids from sexuality while we impose it on them. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we tell our kids, like, yo, man, you you a little kid. You're not supposed to be at, behaving a certain way at this age. And you understand? We, 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 when they're young, but then at the same time, everything else is over-sexualized. I mean, they want you to reach a certain level of stage in life. They grown. You're not. They tell the 12 year old you shouldn't be doing what you see grown folks do. So what made me think to so then age, they don't care. I just know that like that in them house. If you over if you oversexualize children, how easy would it make them to, to change sexes as an adult? Like, like to try anything. Say this again. Okay. So if you oversexualize um, a child. Oversexualized. Just, just they watch cartoons where people are kissing and little jokes about people are smacking butts and just things that are that are. It's nothing. It's nothing. It, 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 it's nothing. Like if we were just watching it, you wouldn't notice that it's oversexualizing. But, but the studies show that those kind of behaviors and certain things are stimulating those thoughts in kids that had never thought of that before. Like mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons why. SpongeBob was getting such a bad rap because SpongeBob was there was like little things that they were doing with inside of the uh, episodes that was um, that would stimulate a kid's sexual mm-hmm. thoughts that they had normally not had been thinking about. There was one that they should you use that example where Patrick had on some um, like some um, net stockings and high heels. Oh wow. Know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So a kid looks at that, and, and they don't look at that and be like, I'm horny. But there's a sexual, like a reflex, that when it sees it, it's getting stimulated. 
So then when they, it, at an earlier age, they'll start recognizing that in real shit. So you see Patrick with that shit on, then you look around, you recognize the only kind of other women you see wearing that kind of shit, got on a short skirt and a wig and a bunch of makeup, They're probably selling pussy or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, like, it, like it'll start putting your mind to that. That look goes with this, over, over stimulating your sexuality. At the same time, trying to act like you hiding them from it. I mean, yeah, that's a tough topic. You know, creating awareness. It's weird, man. It's 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 like I always say, the beast that we dealing with is a bad motherfucker. So, um, I don't even. We're not even gonna do that one. If I go into that tonight, man. All right, we're gonna take a pause. We'll be right back. Oh, yo, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a great one. It's been another episode. It's been another episode, ladies. We want to thank you guys for coming out. Lo, as always, man. You know what I'm saying? You. you Get us there. You definitely get us there. So, so uh, what we got going on? You guys ready for the holidays? Because you know the holidays is up. Uh, no. I'm come not on, ready. the holidays. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Tell me September didn't go by really quick. A lot of it did. It flew by. It's already the end of the month. Mm. It's, it's over. Put the Christmas tree up. It's over, <laughs> yo. And it's cold. Yeah, it is cold. Oh, here, Loretta. I see the leaves already changing, changing color. colors. Yeah, yeah. The S word is coming. I ain't for those oh ones. no! Oh, like God. I just read the one too, man. <laughs> I read one to coming. Really? Yo, this we're, I, we're gonna get a bad. I one. yeah, I keep hearing that. I hear that every year, mind you. But I hear we're gonna nah, have a bad winter. Some areas, sometimes you know because of how the um, like you guys know over the last couple of years that if we had those nice summers, we mm -hmm. would have like an Indian summer, like. From September down into November, it would still be like the 70s. Mm -hmm. Then it'd start dropping, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get snow before a thumb Halloween this year. Oh, oh yes. Oh, it yeah. looked like you can feel it. If we get snow before Halloween, yeah. this is one of them two, three foot of January vibes. Yep. That's what we're we'll doing. All right, I so hope not. What the fuck is not going to be nice? Not yet. Nice. Just it's snow just coming be early bad. this year. But this Early is all y'all that year. get caught up in that shit. Get somebody. I don't know if you guys know. Have you ever experienced being snowed in? Yes. Have you? I definitely <laughs> have. Are you brand new up there? Have you? Yes. Yo. If I know a good storm is coming, all right, I'm going to go do some real shopping. And I like, anybody that knows me know I like to cut. I like to cut. So I like to get snowed in. It's like, like at least like a real snow in like, I can't leave if I wanted to. You can't leave if you wanted to. Please leave. Those kind of snow. Mm -hmm. mm. It's still so like I, I like to yeah. be trapped. Yeah. Yeah. From Monday to Thursday. Yeah. We ain't going that's nowhere. You open up the door. That shit up to you. Like right mm. below your chest. Yo, you open up the door. You don't see nothing but the print of the door. Yo, wow. No, yeah. Those kind of things. That, that, that's that's that, that happens a bit. Yeah, I've been through that, that before. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Well, we got ready to pack and leave. Mm. Mm. If like if you reading and watching the news, like yo, we get we're looking anywhere between eighteen and twenty four inches. Yeah, that's that means we might get three feet for real, right? That's a snow. Call somebody. First, run out real quick before that shit come. Get everything. Get everything you need. You need everything. Survival, food, everything water. Yeah, I get it. Alcohol, mm -hmm. weed, <laughs> condoms, toys, everything. What? You know what I'm saying? That's his toys. <laughs> everything. Seriously. And get that person to come over. And it's good when they don't know. That's a, I like when they don't, when they put it surprises this. Because it's like, you know, y'all don't know what's coming. This is going to be a blanket, right? Mm. So then when she be like, oh, I'm about to go home, you go look at you be like, now nah, you might want to wait till that snow out. They didn't plow the roads in. Or you let them attempt and then they get stuck and now they got to walk back in the snow with you. Mm. Now you really can't leave. And you hoping the plow come through to get your car out. Let's go in there, start having it. You start drinking, put on a movie, lay back, start getting comfortable. Mm. Start doing that eye thing, old hands, right? All the good stuff. And then let it shit to just happen. Y'all wake up like that. Ah. Y'all get each other's natural aromas. <clears throat> get up, make breakfast, smoke, have a couple more sips. <laughs> Try to get back to what I just got at. Not the whole other day like that. It's day two, it's probably like steak. <clears throat> That's probably like, day one was probably like straight. Crab legs, some clams, like something nice, right? 
Day two will probably be steaks. Mm. Steaks mm. with hand cut fucking mm. wedges. And if I was on my shit, the white zip it down, it's some vodka or tequila. Okay. We're back to my snow, So, you know what to do if you have a track in survival mode and it's one of the winter moments, you know what to do. Go find somebody to get captivated, motivated. Yep. All right. Thank you for coming out, and we will see you on the next episode. That's the most confused show. How you gonna get hyped at the end? You know you got the exit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the exit. Yes. Dance right there. Peace, everybody.